crazy, ain't no way, so don't feed this fire. Jump in my balloon, I'll take you higher. Take you somewhere over the rainbow. Get your ticket to the show. Heels click and here we go. Cause you already know there's no place like. Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself, and I would like to discuss my review of one of my favorite movies, movies from the 2000s. This has been my absolute favorite in 2005, and fun fact, it came out 15 years later on this day. Fantastic Four, starring Owen Grudford, Michael Chiklick. Jessica Alba and Chris Evans. Oh my god, I absolutely love this one. This movie really takes me back. <laughs> this movie was so spectacular, awesome, and so stunning. I mean, stunning. <laughs> and to be honest, it's also absolutely astonishing. I, it was amazing though. I love the CGI, the cinematography, the the origin story, and all that jazz. Oh, I remember when my dad took me to see this movie at main theaters all the way from Fan Nines. Oh, memories. I absolutely love love the actors. They played the characters to a T. He, uh, and I really do admire the portrait of Victor Von Doom. Doom. He looks straight out of the comics, unlike like the other adaption in 2015, which was which was absolute horrible. To be honest, for the record, I really despise the 2015 version of Fantastic Four. It was shit. It was so bad. I I really do hate it. I mean, I like the actors in that one, but the CGI for the thing, mm mm. Now where was I? I yeah. They, they had amazing, great scenes. I do love the part where where Johnny, a.k.a. the Human Torch, George had a little chase with that missile. That was awesome. How the music light up. Oh, classic. Oh, and I really did love the final battle between them and, and Victor Von Doom. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I really, really do like the Chem 101 slash Karma they gave him. <laughs> I mean, how they just freezed, freezed him up like that. <sighs> Amazing. You know, I, lo I love this movie so much. I wish it could have, could have collided with the X-Men movies. But unfortunately, it never ha happened. In fact, they were about to do the same thing for the 2015 version, but you know how that how that end up. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? Maybe we'll see the Fantastic Four again in the MCU. I mean, what if Reed Richards bought the Avengers Tower and named it the Baxter Building? Hmm. So, for my score for Fantastic Four, I definitely give this movie mm, a nine. Definitely a nine. And just in case you were wondering, for my score for the 2015 version, <laughs> a zero. Definitely a zero. Of all the movie reviews I did before, I do believe Fantastic Four, the 2015 version, is definitely my worst of the worst. 
Okay guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy out there. Bye. Slide, the last one standing, teach me wrong from right.